When you are stuck and clueless, remember that there is always an idea to overcome it. Follow that idea and try and practice as much as you can so that you can improve gradually and you feel victorious at every single day and that is the beauty of learning. So listen to this carefully so that there will be a certain element of achievement at the end of this video. So today's topic is from functions and this is related to MFCS, DMS and DMGT. So this is the most important theorem, repeatedly asked theorem and please watch this video right till the end so that you will be very very benefited. See here, the statement of the theorem states that if F maps from A to B and G maps from B to C are two bijections, then prove that G circle F whole inverse is equal to F inverse circle G inverse. So, in each and every theorem statement, THEN then plays a vital role. So, before then, the statement is given. So, after then, we have to prove that. See here, what is given? F maps from A to B and G maps from B to C are two bijections. And next one, what is it we have to prove? G circle F whole inverse should be equal to F inverse circle G inverse. Now, let's get started with the proof. So, what is given here? F maps from A to B and G maps from B to C are bijections. See, first thing is F maps from A to B is a bijection. Bijection means two properties. Bi means two and here the properties are F maps from A to B is clearly 1, 1 function and onto function. See here, if F maps from A to B is onto, if it is on to, see here, f maps from A to B is an on to, then there exists small b belongs to the set B and small a belongs to capital A set such that f of A is equal to B. See here, f of A is equal to B according to on to function. And see, if I send this f to other side, then what happens here? f of A is equal to B. If I send f to other side, then f inverse of B is equal to A. So, keep it aside. And next one, what is it given? G maps from B to C is a bijection. So, if it is a bijection, again we have by here, we have two properties that is G maps from B to C is a 1 1 function and onto function. So, coming to onto function, G maps from B to C is an onto. See here, this is B and this is C. We have to consider small c from capital set C and uh, small b from capital B set such that G of B is equal to C. C, small c from capital C, then there exists a small b from capital B such that G of B is equal to C according to the onto property. So, here if I send this G to other side, see here B is equal to G inverse C and therefore G inverse C is equal to B, clear. So, it is given that F maps from A to B and G maps from B to C are two bijections and see here, according to F maps from B to C is a bijection, have taken one, one onto property and have shown that F of A is equal to B and F inverse of B is equal to A. And again, G maps from B to C is a bijection and therefore have taken an onto property here. According to the onto property, G of B is equal to C. And from this, if I send G to other side, so B is equal to G inverse of C. So we have got f of a is equal to b and f inverse of b is equal to a. g of b is equal to c and g inverse of c is equal to b according to the onto property. From the bijection I have taken onto property and again I have discussed an important theorem in my previous video that is if f maps from a to b and g maps from b to c are two bijections then the composition g circle f maps from a to c. See here g circle f maps from this is a to c is also a bijection. So, this is also we have got as an information and see here if it is inverse G circle F maps from A to C is a bijection then G circle F inverse will become see here C will be domain and A will be the range. C to A is also a bijection. If F maps from A to B is a bijection clearly F inverse maps from see here there is an interchange between these two sets B to A is a bijection. If we have G maps from B to C is a bijection. So, these are all, these two are the statements. So, the given statements here is F maps from A to B is a bijection. Clearly, F inverse maps from B to A is also a bijection. If G maps from B to C is a bijection, then G inverse maps from C to A is a bijection. And see here, if you observe this one, F inverse maps from, see, let me show you, F inverse maps from B to A. See here, F inverse maps from this is B to A and G inverse maps from see here G inverse maps from clearly it is C to B. 
this is C to B. And see here, F inverse, circle, G inverse. So, F inverse, circle, G inverse. There is a composition between two. So, we have to start with G inverse. So, G inverse starts with C and it ends up with A. So, we can neglect this B. And therefore, G circle. So, here, F inverse, circle, G inverse will be. So, we have to start with the set G inverse. So, it is C to A is also a bijection. And see here, from 1 and 2. See here. G circle F whole inverse is from C to A. So, here it is a C. The domain is C. And here F inverse circle G inverse is also the domain C. So, from 2, 1 and 2. So, from 1 and 2 we have G circle F inverse maps from C to A and F inverse circle G inverse maps from C to A. So, here if you observe this one, the domains of G circle F whole inverse and F inverse circle G inverse are same. If the domains are same, now we have to prove that. So, this is how we have to prove G circle F whole inverse of C is equal to F inverse circle G circle of C. So, we have to take C as the domain. And from this, we have, see here, if F is onto, we have F of B is, F of A is equal to B and clearly F inverse of B is equal to A. And here, G is an onto function. We have G of B is equal to C and G inverse of C is equal to B. And now we have to show this one. So, we have to take the domains. First, I am taking C. So, from C, so what I can write here? From C, I can write G of B. So, I have to write G of B. So, what is B here? B in place of B, I can write F of A. So, clearly this is F of A and I have written G circle F of A. So, we have got, if I send this G circle F to other side, this will be G circle F whole inverse of C is equal to A. So, coming to this part, I have taken F inverse circle G inverse of C. See, as there is a composition, so I have replaced with a bracket that is F inverse of G circle of C. So, what is this G, sorry, G inverse of C? So, G inverse of C is nothing but B here. So, I have kept B here. And what is this F inverse of B? So, clearly F inverse of B is nothing but A here. So, here. So, we got F inverse circle G inverse of C value as A. So, in both the cases, after taking C as the domain, we got the answer as A from 3 and 4. So, it is very clear that the value is same as A and I have equated the statements. And therefore, G circle F whole inverse is equal to F inverse circle G inverse. So, this is what it is asked to prove that if F maps from A to B and G maps from B to C are the two bijections, then... G circle F whole inverse is equal to F inverse circle G inverse. So, is it not easy? If you understand each and every point. So, in my previous video also I have explained each and every point. And if you go through this uh, video first and then come to this, then both the uh, theorems will be very easy. And these are most important and repeatedly asked theorems. And see here and let me explain you once again. See here, as it is very easy, F is given as f and g are the two bijective functions then we have to prove this one so if f and g are two bijections so f is 1 1 and on 2 if it is an onto property f of a is equal to b and c we can clearly write as f inverse of b is equal to a g maps from b to c is a bijection therefore it is 1 1 and on 2 if you take the on 2 statement g of b so g of b is equal to a and if i send this uh, g to other side b is equal to g inverse of c so we got all the four here so all the four equations you keep it aside and now we have to show that now again we have a theorem that f maps from a to b and g maps from b to c are two bijections then g circle f maps from a to c is also a bijection so if g ma g circle f maps from a to c then the inverse will be g circle f whole inverse will be from c to a is also a bijection f maps from a to b is a bijection then f inverse maps from it is an inverse statement b to a is a bijection if g maps from b to c is a bijection then g inverse maps from c to b is a bijection see here it is very clear that f inverse circle g inverse we need f inverse circle f inverse circle g inverse so we have to start with g inverse so the starting set is c and the final set is A and therefore, if you see here in the statement 1, we have C as a domain. In the statement 2, we have C as the domain. From 1 and 2, the domains of these two are the same. Now, we have to prove this one. We have to take this as a C as the domain and therefore, we have all the four equations here and I have to take C as a domain. So, I have considered the C. So, what is C here? G of B and what is B here? B is nothing but F of A and therefore, G circle F of A. And keep it aside and now we have to start with this 
R H S part. F circle inverse. Uh, so F circle into G inverse. So G inverse of C. So this will be F inverse of G inverse of C. What is G inverse of C? This is P. And what is F inverse of P? This is A. So here, if you see this one, this is F inverse circle G inverse of C is equal to A. In both the cases here, there is A as an answer. So now from 3 and 4, we can equate these two. And therefore, G circle F whole inverse is equal to F inverse circle G inverse. And therefore, this is the theorem that if F maps from A to B and G maps from B to C are the two bijections, then G circle F whole inverse is equal to F inverse circle G inverse. So this is how we have to prove. And thank you so much for watching and staying till the end. So if you really like this video, please pass it on to your friends siblings and whomever you like the most and that is the greatest help to this channel and spread the knowledge and go, go through the playlist and so many videos are uploaded for your preparation and each topic is vividly explained so it will be very very helpful for your uh, uh, good score achieving a good score thank you so much for staying till the end